everybody. How are you doing? We are sitting in the Ford Ranger Raptor. Um, yeah, this is the brand new model. Um, it looks amazing from the outside. You've already seen it and I'm honestly astonished by how good the car handles and how good it drives. Um, the first meters I did in this car, I thought, how is this possible? I mean, you're looking at a very high car with a high center of gravity. It's a heavy car, it's a pickup truck, it's a utility vehicle, but inside it yeah, looks like a Ford Performance car. It feels like a Ford Performance car, has new tech inside, quality is high, um, sound isolation from outside is also very nice. You don't hear the tires, those all-terrain tires at all. Um, once driving faster on the autobahn and we of course want to do our acceleration test today with the race box of course the car is only capable of doing 180 so we will do 0 to 100 and 100 to 180 because everything else is not possible but nevertheless i mean you will be amazed how good it sounds how good it drives and um, a definite let's say recommendation for everybody to check out this car and also of course the new amarok that just has been released on the same platform um we have certain drive modes here um that you can and flip through once we once we do that we are in the regular mode or in the sport mode we have now also put the traction control into the sport handling mode and yeah without further talking let's head it off and see how it sounds and how it goes Check out 100 to 180. Check out the brakes. I mean, they're simply amazing for such a heavy vehicle. It's super safe to drive high speeds on the Autobahn. Probably something the car never was built for, but it just works. So guys, you have seen some very, very nice numbers. And I think the best part about this car is coming back to the beginning, how versatile it is. I mean, you can go into the woods here, you can pull a trailer, you can go off-road, Bahama, whatever it is. The car can do far more than we did in the, in the last days that we tested this one. But uh, on the other hand, you have the acceleration and the power and the emotion of, of yeah, I don't know, something like an RS4, RS5, a Giulia Quattrifoglio with that sound. Um, that's just amazing you have the space um, in the back and of course also in the back seats um, yeah, I don't know but this is somehow in the same league than something like an X3M to me of course long distance ride comfort uh, is not as perfect as it is with the other ones but um, nevertheless it's a it's a very very good car and actually I'm looking forward to drive the new VW Amarok as well um, because that car is on the same platform and I'm expecting uh, similar qualities plus that car is being offered with a 3 liter diesel engine at least in Germany this one isn't this is only with a 2.2 liter diesel 
diesel engine. So um, stay tuned for more.